everybody, it's Jess from Meyer Hatchery. I just got in from checking our flock and giving the coop a good cleaning. It's springtime here in Northeast Ohio, so I spent a lot of time really giving the coop a good clean, especially after a long, hard winter. When the temperatures start to rise in the springtime, you may notice, hmm, my coop smells a little off. <laughs> so I wanna share with you a few things to help your coop especially now as the temperatures are starting to get warmer. Your first step is always going to be, if you notice that your coop has a really strong odor, to clean your coop. So make sure that your vents are clean, that you have good ventilation in your coop. Make sure that your bedding is good and dry and you don't have any extra moisture in your coop. Moisture is the enemy in the coop that creates bacteria and can create extra smells in your coop. Also, make sure that your watering system is not leaking any extra moisture into your bedding. Another thing that's really important, especially after a long winter, is to give that bedding a good cleaning. So take all that bedding out and start over again. If you've done the deep litter method all winter long, now is time to clean that out. When I have all the bedding out of my coop, I like to wipe my coop down with a little bit of apple cider vinegar. So I either make my own apple cider vinegar or I buy some from the store and I wipe all the surfaces in the coop. I wipe the nest boxes down. Anywhere that the chickens like to perch, I give everything a good wiping. The apple cider vinegar is not only going to clean those surfaces, but it's also going to help to deodorize any of those surfaces as well. I have a lot of silkies in my coop and they go broody often. So I have to make sure that my nest boxes are really clean, especially if somebody's been sitting in there for a while. Another thing that you can do is you can make your own coop spray. And this is a spray that you can spray around your nest boxes or maybe around the door of your coop to prevent pests from getting in. And it's really easy to make. To make your own coop spray, all you need is a spray bottle and inside here I've put two and a half cups of water and a half a cup of white distilled vinegar. Then I added some essential oils to my mixture here. So I'm using lavender and mint, 20 drops of each. So there's 40 drops total into here. You can use whatever essential oils you'd like to use. I know a lot of people like to use lemongrass too because that helps keep extra bad bugs out of the coop. And like I said, after I've mixed this up and I give it a good shake, I spray the nest boxes all around the nest boxes. Um, There's some places where the birds like to perch. I give that a good spray. And I also spray the entrance to the coop as well. I do all my spraying when the chickens are out in their run, maybe enjoying a treat. And when they're done having their awesome treat, they head back into a super clean and deodorized coop. Another thing that I like to do is I like to make my own air fresheners. So you may have heard um, some people like to hang like vanilla air fresheners in the coop and the vanilla keeps flies away and it does, it really does work. And over the last couple years, I have went from buying the air fresheners to just making my own. So what I do is I take some wooden clothespins like this one here and I will take about 16 inches of yarn and I wrap it just around the center here where the spring would be on the clothespin. And then I put some essential oils on the yarn part here. So you could actually put it on the wood part here, but I put it in our little kind of yarn ball that we've made here. And when I'm wrapping my air freshener, I make sure to leave enough where I can open up my clothespin so I can hang it places. And I like to use these just to kind of add a little bit of extra peppermint and lavender into the coop. Both are gonna be calming and again, keep those pests away and keep those odors at bay as well. Another thing that you can do if you don't have any essential oils on hand is you can make your own spray by soaking fresh herbs such as mint and lavender in a mason jar full of white distilled vinegar. You're gonna let that sit for about two to three weeks or until the vinegar smell has kind of faded away. And then you can go ahead and spray that in your coop. That recipe is inspired by Lisa Steele. Some other things that you can do in your coop after you've done that big cleaning to keep those smells away are 
hang herb bouquets in your coop. And you can also make or buy nest box herbs to put in the nest box. Hopefully I've given you some suggestions on how to keep your coop smelling amazing. If you have any questions, be sure to leave those in the comments below. As always, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click that bell so you're the first to know every time a new video has been released. Thank you so much for watching.